Morning guys, KDOT 357 coming to you here. Today is the 21st of August. Um, it's hard to believe that August is almost gone. Um, I got some guns I wanna show you this morning and also I've got um, some that I'll tell you about that should be coming in today. Uh, we'll start out with the Smith & Wesson MP9. This gun has night sights on it. Also has night sights, this is a uh, 2.0, so it has the more aggressive grip. Uh, this will be the full size MP. And then I've got a uh, MP9 Shield. This is the first generation. It doesn't have the aggressive grip like the 2.0s have, but it's still a nice, nice pistol. Um, I've got also a 2.0 second generation Shield 9, nine millimeter, that uh, has a Crimson Trace laser on there as well. You just pitch your button. Of course, you can see it right there. Uh, toggle it again and, and it um, it's intermittent and then toggle it one more time and it turns it off. This is a 2.0 9 millimeter. This little boy right here won't last long at all, I don't think. It's a nice looking pistol. And then this gun, I'm sort of surprised that we still got it. We had ordered this gun um, for a customer and they never picked it up. I can't believe it. This is a Sig Sire 320 M17. Nice gun in FDE. Um, already comes with night sights on it. This gun's hooked up, all right? Comes with a box, um, I think of three magazines, I believe, and one super high capacity magazine. Um, but anyway, we still got that gun right there. Hard to believe that we still got it. I bet it'll get gone today or tomorrow. And the way of long guns, um, uh, one, two, two of these are consignment guns. One of them's our gun. So this consignment gun, this is a Century Arms AKMS 47, chambered in 7.62, by 39, I may have showed this gun already. I'm not real sure I may have showed it already. My customer wants uh, 900 out the door for this gun. Uh, nice piece, and then I've got another piece. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in here before. This is a Rock Island Army VR BP100. My customer wants 949. This is a shotgun, so it's uh, chambered in 12 gauges. So this is a uh, magazine fed, shotgun uh in a bullpup configuration pretty pretty sweet looking gun and then i've got another gun this is ours uh this gun's really coming close to getting sold because i've got a lot of lookers on it this is a smith and wesson mp10 so this is chambered in 308 winchester very nice gun i um, mean you could automatically see that big wide honking magazine and know that it's a 308 uh, but other than that it's like an ar-15 in every other way it has a collapsible stock we have our dust cover, we have our forward assist. It's optics ready. Uh, we're working real hard on getting more optics in here, red dot scopes and things like that. Um, as you know, in the gun industry, everything is in short supply. Not just guns and ammo, but even ammo, even uh, gun related accessories, even freaking targets, can you believe it? So um, we're doing the best we can uh, on Monday mornings and, and Tuesday trying to get stock back in here for you. Speaking of that, um, so what we have, we I've got some more Glocks coming in. I've, I've still got a pretty good selection of Glocks. I don't have any 43Xs in the case, but I got, I believe, five Glock 43s coming in today. Uh, hopefully it should be here somewhere around noon. We open up at 11 o'clock. And then I've got about four Glock 26 Gen 4s, Generation 4s. And we got a Glock 21 in that package. And I'm thinking maybe one other. But but in the case, I've still got some 48s. I've got uh, Glock 45, which is the model 45 chambered 9mm. It's sort of uh, like the 19X, um, except the gun's black instead of FDE. And... Um, uh, I've got some Glock 30s. Uh, those are chambered in 45 ACP. Those are nice little guns. Our detectives carry carry those uh, with the agency that I worked at. Um, then the patrol carries Glock 21s, but I'm hearing they're, they're going to be getting some new guns pretty soon. Um, I know most of the agencies out there are either going to Glock 17s or Sig P320s. Um, and then I've got another batch of guns coming in. And one of them is a surprise. It's a knockoff of an HK. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it is a nice rifle chambered in 308 Winchester. It won't last long. I promise you that. And when I get here, I'll show it to you. But um, got some 380 EZs. Uh, those continue to be uh, very popular. Uh, what else I'm trying to think in there that he's got for me? Um, 
I can't think right now. It's still not early, but it's uh, early enough. We don't open for a couple hours, and I'm really jonesing for a cup of coffee and maybe a good old Mickey D's uh, sausage biscuit. Um, and listen, I appreciate the folks that have taken training from me recently. We've done some, we've done some private concealed carry classes and did some uh, basic pistol training. Some folks from Liberty and uh, some folks here in Lee County that um, I trained yesterday in private concealed carry. And we just want to uh, say that we really appreciate your business and appreciate you um, choosing us uh, for your training. Yes, we do. We don't just have a gun store, but we have a, a, a big training company. We do a lot of um, consistency. But see what uh, dogs are barking at. Um, we do a lot of uh, concealed carry training. Uh, we do uh, a defensive pistol one, two, and three. We do a tactical shotgun. We do an AR-15 class and, and so on. And then of course offer private instruction as well. Um, and a lot of you um, came by way of my videos. Um, Cause I asked, I said, how'd you know about me? Especially for the instruction. And they said, well, we watch your videos. We follow you on YouTube. My YouTube channel is KDOD357, KDOD357. And no, the 357 don't stand for Smith & Wesson Magnum. I mean, uh, 357 Smith & Wesson Magnum, it stands for 357 SIG. Uh, I really like the uh, SIG round. Um, leaves the muzzle at about 1,400 feet per second. It's good enough for the State Highway Patrol. That's what they use. Of course, I'm hearing they got like a gazillion rounds of it, and they'll probably have 357 SIG for a while to come. Um, <clears throat> I need to try to get to the barber today. Get a little, look a little like a hippie there on the side and, and clean this up a little bit. Um, so there, there you have it for today. Uh, still low on ammo. Uh, I'm hoping maybe that Defender, I advertise for them, of course, Defender Ammunition, maybe I'll be getting a phone call today or, a, or an email saying that yeah, we got 10,000 rounds of nine millimeter for you. I ordered uh, 10 cases of nine millimeter, and I'm telling you, when I get that in, that probably won't last, but I doubt it'll even last a week uh, once word gets out. Got lots of, I uh, got a lot of good amount of um, 556, 223, uh, 7.62 by 39, 357 Magnum. Um, and some other rounds, but, uh, running, running kind of lean on, on the other calibers there. So come on in and see us. We're at, uh, I got, I said, started to say 357 West Overdrive. <laughs> come on by and see us. We're at 1606 West Overdrive, Sanford NC 27330. We're out here in the tramway area. Uh, don't forget to visit us on the web at carolinafirearmstrain.com where you can sign up for concealed carry classes and other classes. Speaking of concealed carry, We've got another one coming up next Saturday. Of course, that class is already full. It's been full for over a month, a month and a half. Um, but we're, I'm going to try to get the rest of my year's dates posted, uh, on my website today, which would be, uh, November and December dates. Yes, we're already booking concealed carry classes into October already. And they're filling up pretty quick as well, but we got seats available. So get on in there so you don't have to wait till November, December. Our class fee is just $59.59, $59. So we got a good price. But the other good thing about that, the, probably the best thing about that is we, we, Carolina Farms Training Gun Sales, gives away a handgun. We give away a gun, uh, not a toy gun, a real gun and nice little guns. Uh, generally, I choose pistols that were ideal for concealed carry. So uh, if you get in on a class, you got a chance to win a pistol. You do not pay any extra. We simply give you a little ticket um, at the uh, beginning of the class. And uh, we give away actually three, four prizes. It's just the nicest prize is a firearm. So get in there on that deal. I can tell you right now, you got a better chance of winning a gun for me than you do the lottery. That's for darn sure. Way better chance. All right, so uh, I'm going to get out of here. I've got to got to go get my coffee, and um, I've got to run, do a couple of little errands right quick, get to the bank, and um, we'll see you sometime today. So I'll be here tomorrow as well. Um, so come on by. We'd like to see you, and Bill and Zach will be here, and Rex will be here today, and we got the whole gang, and um, we're kind of excited about it. Oh, one other thing we're really excited about, I was going to do an exclusive video on it, we got a new toilet in the back. Those of you, some of you that use our toilet here, man, that thing was sluggish. Of course, the building was built back in the 70s, and I think the toilet was the original toilet. <laughs> it just, that gum toilet seat was coming off of it. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't want any females to go back there. Not that it was all dirty, but, you know, 
It looked like a bunch of guys used it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say we have a very nice brand new Kohler toilet back there, and I'm gonna give them a plug installed by Fix-It Plumbing Services of Sanford, North Carolina. They did a nice clean job, and man, that thing's nice. It's, it's a handicap version, so it sits up a little bit off the floor. It's got a bigger bowl on it, and I guess I'll just stop right there. Boy, like I'm really proud of my toilet. I am proud of my toilet. It's nice. So, and then we're getting linoleum. My good buddy, uh, Alberto Gomez, is putting uh, linoleum, I guess linoleum or, or uh, laminate or something back here behind the checkout. Just in case Molly or, or um, God, I can't think of her name. I told you I need that coffee. Or uh, Sophie, my German Shepherd, have a little accident or something. It'd be a real easy cleanup. And then my good buddy, uh, Mark Lovick. Uh, yeah, Mark, I'm going to give you a shout out too. He's coming in here also the same day. And uh, that, that Alberto is going to be here and he's going to clean all the carpets um, in the middle of the floor. And by the way, Mark Lovick is running for county commissioner at large here in Lee County. I told him he could put a sign out here. I like Mark. He's a good down-to-earth kind of guy. And, um, you know, uh, he's running for commissioner, so uh, I'm sure he would appreciate your support. I know him. Uh, if you'd like to know him, I'm sure, uh, you know, you're going to hear him, you know. I, I, well, I don't know. I can't say that with COVID and all that. I don't know how they're going to be doing the um, debates and and uh, to where, you know, they're going to allow them to get on stage and talk and whatnot. But Mark would sure love to talk to you if you got any questions for him or anything. Um, he's a good guy, and I support him. And um, I think, and, and basically, he's sort of running for my seat because my, my term will be over in November. And I hope he goes right in there behind me because if you he'll have your um, he'll have your back. He'll have your best interest. So, uh, all right, I'm out of here for real this time. So I'm going to load this up to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, which is KDOD357. If you like the video, hit the like button, and more importantly, hit the subscribe button. And, um, so, man, it ain't even lunchtime yet, and I'm already thinking about food. What are we going to have for food today? I guarantee you I know what it's going to be since Zach or Bill here. It's going to be either Chick-fil-A or, now I don't know, usually we have pizza and hot wings on Saturday. So we'll see. I'm out of here. So see you next time. Stay armed, stay safe, and stay well.